Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. I usually do make these every single week, but unfortunately last week I was a little too busy and ended up editing one of the montages a little bit too long. So unfortunately I was not able to have time to upload the video. So, as usual, we will have these Zero Predictions back every week. And with all that being said, guys, let's not waste any more time and just get right on into these predictions. So this time around, we're starting things off with the Titan class. Now this week, I think Zer is going to bring us the Dune Marchers for the Titans. Now these are brand new Titan legs from the Rise of Iron DLC. And they do increase your time to sprint, and they also allow you to move faster while aiming down your sights. Now personally, ever since the Rise of Iron came out, I've gotten these leg pieces. I have not stopped using them on my Titan. They just make you a lot more agile and a lot easier to get around. And you're usually able to get kills a lot easier because you're just strafing so fast. So if there's sells these this weekend, I would definitely pick them up and test them out on your Titan. They definitely do change things a lot and make it a lot easier to play and do pretty well. So I definitely do like those leg pieces, and you guys probably will as well. Now for the Hunters this week, I think you guys are going to be getting the Young Ahamankara Spine. So these go to increase trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade charge for your Gunslinger. So if you're not a Gunslinger, I wouldn't really pick these up, but for Gunslingers that like to run those trip mines, they can be pretty effective. And they're kind of like lightning grenades for a Titan in terms of like how you use them and just how far the range is. So if you know how to use them well, trip mines can definitely come in handy quite often. And I would definitely pick these up for trip mines, they're definitely pretty nice. However, if you don't run Gunsmith, I'd probably just leave these in the shop, they're not really going to help you at all, and you should probably just save your strange coins. Now before we get into the Warlocks Exotic, I want to bring you guys my prediction for Trials of Osiris this week. So it is the start of the Festival of the Lost, first. so for Trials of Osiris this week, I think it would be pretty awesome if we played Widow's Court. While the Festival of the Lost is here, Trials of Osiris will be offering some exclusive emblems, so definitely want to be trying that out. I definitely think that it would just be a really awesome map this week. It hasn't been Widow's Court in a while, and this is usually one of my favorite maps for Trials. And I would definitely be playing on my Warlock this week, so hopefully we will be seeing Widow's Court this week, or just some sort of really good map. Now keep in mind, I do usually stream Trials of Osiris throughout the weekend, and try to do some carries on Monday evenings, and sometimes even on Saturdays. So if you guys are looking for carries on Trials of Osiris, definitely be sure to check back on the weekends for some live streams. I usually do try to play with the viewers as often as possible to try to help you guys go to the lighthouse, so definitely just stay tuned for that if you're interested. And with that being said, let's get into the Warlocks predictions. So last week you guys got the stag, and hopefully you guys picked it up. That thing is actually pretty awesome, and when you use it right, it can be extremely effective in trials. Now since the launch of Rise of Iron, we still are waiting on Zerda to sell the Ophidian Aspects. Those are the new gauntlets that help you reload faster and ready your weapons a lot faster on the Warlock. Now a lot of people do want these gauntlets and I just got them myself a few weeks ago from the Engrams. Now a lot of people aren't as lucky and still are trying to grind out these gauntlets and they definitely are really great once you do get them. They're sort of like Doom Archers for the Warlock. You're not going to move faster but your weapon handling is a lot faster. So you definitely do get a pretty good advantage there with those gauntlets. So hopefully Zerd does bring them this weekend for those people. I mean, It would really be nice if he brought the Doom Archers and the Ophidian Aspects. Those are just two of the exotics that we've been waiting on from Zerd. Since the launch of Rise of Iron it would just be really great if he brought these this weekend for Halloween. So that is pretty much all the predictions this week guys, those are all the pieces of armor. But we still have the weapon left this week and last week he did sell a pretty great weapon, the Hawkmoon. Now some people don't really think the Hawkmoon is that great but I just personally started using that not too long ago as well. And to be honest I think that thing's pretty nice. It takes a little bit of getting used to but it's actually one of the better hand cannons in the game once you get used to it. So hopefully you guys did pick that up last weekend. So since Zer is basically coming right before Halloween, I figured I would give you guys three of my exotic predictions this time for the weapon. So Bungie could decide to bring us a pretty awesome weapon this weekend just because of the Festival of the Lost this year, and it is a holiday event right now. So hopefully they are going to hook us up a little bit this weekend with a pretty awesome weapon. So I do want to give you guys three of my predictions this week. I kind of think he'll sell the bad juju because it's sort of Halloween related, and they did just come out with a new ornament for that, so I think that would be the perfect time for them to sell bad juju. Now, he did just bring the bad juju like three or four weeks ago, so I did want to throw in a couple extra predictions for you guys just in case. I do think they could also decide to bring the Mighty Multi-Tool or the Red Death. Those are also pretty great weapons, and they're extremely rare to be sold by Zer. I know he's only sold Red Death like two or three times in all of Destiny, and the Mighty Multi-Tool is just also very rare because it's so good. They'll rarely bring that around because of how good it is. So like I said, this is a holiday weekend, and hopefully Bungie will hook us up with a decent weapon this time around. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. I'm really hoping for something good this week. So as always, guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying Festival of the Lost, but be sure to drop your Zerg predictions in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think he's going to sell this time around. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like down below. I do make these every week. Unfortunately, we did miss this last week. But other than that, we have uploaded about 40 weeks straight with just straight Zerg predictions. So if you did enjoy this video today, be sure to click that subscribe button as well to catch these videos every single week. And I will see you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace.